Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Mega Man 4 for Game Boy playthrough. Um, little confession here. Um, I actually tried recording this video a little bit ago and uh, ran into a very unfortunate aspect of this game. And I'll get into it when uh, it happens because there's no way I'm not going to have a game over at some point during this section. But, uh... We're going to go ahead and uh, actually continue on with this game and start working on basically the end game stage. We're pretty much at the end of this, folks, uh, believe it or not. So we're getting really, really close to being done. Uh, so this stage is actually very simple. Um, it's actually kind of funny. You can take out these little mid-bosses fairly easily by just jumping on their cannon and just blasting away at them. It's actually kind of funny that you can do that. So yeah, just take out these guys very, very quickly. It's better than just trying to, like, actually aim at them manually because, uh... Yeah, um, dealing with their weapons can be a bit of a pain. Let's go ahead and keep on going. This is actually where a checkpoint is, believe it or not, so... At least have a little bit of a checkpoint to mess with if you want to. Here I'd recommend just uh, um, sliding under all the missiles. And we actually have our first boss and uh, this boss has actually got a very unique weakness and it's actually for a weapon we haven't seen yet. Uh, this boss is actually weak to uh, beat the bird. And the cool thing about beat is uh, beat will actually um, fly around and attack for you. But uh, this uh, this boss is actually kind of interesting because he actually has like all the different types of attacks from the second wave of Robot Masters. And yeah, there we go. That boss is already down. Beat's actually pretty helpful in that regard. He just kind of acts as like a little drone that can go around and attack enemies for you. And honestly, not really a bad idea to keep him around for the rest of this game, or in some of these more tricky sections. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and continue on. Um, this room's really dumb. I really dislike making jumps like these, if I'm being honest just really really easy to uh, take it down. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do this actually. I'm gonna go ahead and use an E-Tank. Because, I mean, we can just get another E-Tank like right here. I'm just gonna ignore you too. Why bother with something you don't have to, am I right? Um, but I will go ahead and say it. Um, in the last video when we saw that uh, final Wily shop, that is actually the last Wily shop you get in this game, so keep that in mind. So that would have been actually the time to buy 1-ups, um, if I'm being honest, but I didn't want to because I only had one, and getting the game over would mean that I'd have a potential for others, and... Yeah, it just didn't just didn't work out in that retrospect, I guess. Okay. Chicken. And this energy balancer once again coming in clutch. I can beat this thing. I feel like there is something that can actually do. Oh, that's it. That's not it. I know that made no that made so much sense. It, that that's it. That's not it. But whatever. I think you know what I was getting at there. I could have tried other weapons, but I didn't really feel like it. I guess Ballet Cracker would have probably been a good... <laughs> I should have tested that, if I'm being honest. 
Oh well, I've already messed, missed my chance. Unless I die and then I can go back and try that. If I do go back, I'll just try a whole bunch of different weapons. But it, it, It's nothing important. It could be like the second Proto Man room or something. I don't know. I hate when games do that. Uh, I know I should probably just expect it now, but like, no, that's a that's a really dumb tra that's a really dumb trap. Seriously. Okay. That's actually not it. Charge kick. That's what it is. Yep, okay. It's the other Proto Man room. So we actually found both of these. I heard that there's only two of them, so. Proto Man, you, you're awesome! Kind of a waste to get some of those, but whatever. <laughs> At least we got them. Oh, I'm just gonna ignore you. That's what good robots do. They ignore robots who you don't have to mess with. I think that's how it works. So freaking stupid. Honestly, I should have expected it because it was right there. Like it happened right before. I think it was kind of a dick move about this is like it's not even like at the like middle of the pit Not all. I'm guessing that's the midpoint of the stage. I was ready for you. I knew you were there. Like, it happened once. <laughs> It'll happen again. I'm so bitter about that, guys. You have no idea. Huh. <sighs> Well, since that one thing I was talking about isn't happening, I guess I can go ahead and actually mention it now, since I'm not getting a game over, apparently. But, um, if you get a game over in these stages, and you go back to stage select, you literally have to do all the stages again. Including the ballet fight, so you don't even have the ballet cracker anymore, which is really, really dumb. I hate that they do that. Games should never do be that cruel with, like, stage select returns. It should at least save your progress to some extent, you know? So yeah, I actually made it through all the way, like, through uh, the first stage. Took a death and then had that unfortunate thing happen, which I'm not sure how to do this. I guess Rush Jet would be the safest. So whatever you do, like, make sure if you get a game over, you hit continue. That's basically what I'm getting at. Do not hit stage select, otherwise you'll be redoing a lot. Um, did I use an E-Tank? I did, but I got it back, so yeah. Oh my god, holy lag, Batman. So Batman. Okay, this again.
That was kind of the cool variation of that fight, not gonna lie. Again, why? Okay, charge man, I'm gonna use you again. Oh, hi. I don't need that. <laughs> Okay, well, it's time for the refights. Um, those little eyeball things, apparently they're weak to sh Pharaoh Shot. I didn't mention that because I didn't think that was the actual boss, but they're weak to Pharaoh Shot, so there you go. Okay, so it's time for the refights, which means... Let's do it. Who do we have first? We have Toad Man. Uh, Toad Man is weak to... Uh, oh, yeah, the ring. Ring or just napalm as well. I'll try ring. Actually, hold on. I want to see if ring shot was like a weakness of a future boss, but it doesn't seem like it is. Okay. Now we can use it. Okay. First robot master down. Let's go ahead and go in here. What do we got next? We got Bright Man. So Rain Flush. Or. No, just Rain Flush. some bosses that'll be easier than others, so I'm not too worried about it. We'll skip that one. Okay, Ring Man. Ring Man is weak to Ferro Shot or Charge Kick. Also, and I already mentioned Bright Man. Do I want to use Charge Kick for this, though? I feel like Ferro Shot's probably going to be the... Damn it, why did I... I thought I could maybe try to avoid his attack, but I didn't. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, Pharaoh Shot, I believe, is a weapon you want to try to keep, though, so keep that in mind. So don't waste too much of it if you can avoid it. But I have that super tank, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, we'll go ahead and go to the next one. This is... Crystal Man, which was... Charge Kick or Ring Boomerang again. I'll try Charge Kick on this one. Charge kick! Okay, next one. We got. Choo choo choo. Power stone or rain flush.
You know what? I don't want to take a death, so I'm going to use one of my E-Tanks. And we're coming to the end of the game, so I'm not too worried about it. Three more. Let's skip this one. I'm actually just doing this completely at random, by the way, so there's no, like, method to my madness. Uh, Crystal Eye or Pharaoh Shots. Didn't I just, like, fight him normally? I think I did. Crystal Eye. Crystal Eye could be good because of the ricochets. Okay, two more. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take out the last one of these, which I believe was Stone Man. Ooh, ooh. Stone Man was kind of tricky, though. Let's do the other one here first. Which was Pharaoh Man. Flash Stopper. Crystal Eye. Oh, Crystal Eye works on this one, apparently. Pharaoh Shot also is apparently powerful against Pharaoh Man. He got me! Pharaoh Man got me. Oh wait, shoot, I went to... I went to Stone Man, damn. Um... Is it quite ready? Doing this again, but we have two left, so okay. I'm gonna go back to using the crystal for Pharaoh Man for a bit because that actually was doing decent. I just was not ready for his full blast since I didn't know when he was gonna fire it. That's all the refights. Which means we are about done. Um, trying to think of what we need. I think Crystal Eye is actually one we need, so I'm going to go ahead and fill that up. Uh, we also need Ballet Cracker, which isn't really used, and Pharaoh Shot, which. Yeah, let's do this. And we'll do Pharaoh Shot next. I don't think any of these others are really, like, super necessary. Fill that up for no reason. Look at that running animation. So, first phase, the Crystal Eye. I 
I... I don't know how to choreograph these attacks. Yeah, I... I don't know which way he's going to be swinging from. How am I supposed to know that? <laughs> uh... Hold on, I have an idea. No, that doesn't work. That's kind of a cool... I like this boss, it's just... I don't know where his attacks are coming. Is it just back and forth? I honestly don't know. Okay, so right here. Continue. That's important. <laughs> you don't want to go for the very, very beginning. And you get all your weapons back anyway. Like, It's like, what's the point of even buying like anything then? Here is it just no it doesn't alternate because he just did that again. I can't figure out which is what. I guess you have to just stand in the middle and just kinda hope that projectiles don't hit you. Which is definitely not working out well for me. So yeah, I just have to stand in the middle, I guess, and then whatever they do, you just adjust accordingly. Uh... That's definitely what you want to see, though. You want to see, you want to see the punch forward with no other dumb projectile attacks. get two hits on. Ah. Oh, oh, That's phase one done. one done. There'll likely be another one. Okay, so Ballet Cracker is the... I was not ready for that. You know what? Screw it. This form doesn't seem so hard. I don't know what to do there. Like... under it, I guess. Either way, that's form two done. But it's not over yet, because there's one more fight 
It's the Wily capsule. This one is weak to Pharaoh shots. Well, that's dumb. Continue. Oh, okay, at least you can start here again. That's nice. Okay, this is an interesting fight where you need to be kind of... Man, I am not ready for this, apparently. <laughs> just what you should probably use. Yeah. Take that, Wily. Wait, hold on. It's like, wait, he's not gonna do a desperation attack, is he? Okay, there we go. Wily beaten. Mega Man 4 beaten for Game Boy. We're done. We did it, guys. Oh, but his shifty eyes are at it again. He's making his escape. So you get this cool little cutscene. Oh no! He can't break through! Ballad! Why are you here? Stop, Ballade. You're badly injured. I know, Mega Man. After our battle, I realized that I was wrong. This is all I can do for you now. Goodbye. Ballade! Oh. <laughs> I can suck you out into space! <laughs> Mega Man was never seen again. Okay, well, there we go, guys. Mega Man 4 for Game Boy has been beaten. Honestly, um, my thoughts for this game compared to the other Game Boy installments, like, I have 
a hard time placing this. I think this game honestly started out fine. I think the difficulty is very inconsistent in the second half of the game, though. <laughs> like, if it was, like, all just harder, then that'd be one thing, but, like... There was one level that took me, like, five minutes and was, like, nothing, but... I don't know, I, mean, I guess I, that's just kind of Mega Man in a nutshell. Is, you know, some people will struggle with different things. Something that's difficult for one person may not be difficult for another person. That's the kind of the way it's always been, honestly. But, like, Crystal Man's stage was way too long, and... Stone Man's stage was, like, very short, but... It was, like, very difficult at the beginning, which was weird. So, I don't know. The biggest problem with this game is the frickin', like, stage select issue with the final few stages. Where if you go back to stage select, you have to redo, like, pretty much everything from the end game over again, which is not good. And while I do think the shop was, like, a good feature, it seems kind of pointless. Because, like, whenever you get a game over, everything just resets anyway, and, like, they give you plenty of checkpoints, so I don't think it's really that big of a deal. I say just save up enough for the energy balancer, and that's really all you need. Maybe get some E tanks, or the, the, the S tank for sure. Which I didn't even use, but <laughs> it's there, I guess, so. Yeah, I don't know. It was just, it was just a very weird game. I don't think it's the worst of the Game Boy installments. I still think maybe the first game's probably the worst one. But, um, I don't know. I feel like I kind of enjoyed 2 and 3 a little more. It's not by much, though. Not by much. It's a very, very... It's really hard to say, honestly. It's, it's splitting the smallest of hairs. Hairs I don't really care to split, if I'm being real. Yeah, this really only took me five videos, so... That's pretty good, I guess. I love how the game is also just flexing and showing like how you're supposed to take on these robot masters. Uh, but next in the uh, Mega Man Game Boy installments, obviously Mega Man 5, which is the last one. Um, if they made the other like handheld games, which I mean they did, but like handheld versions of the numbered series. 5 was definitely the last one, and I... From what I've heard from people, 5 is the best one. And it actually kind of, like, changes, like, the formula to this point. Like, normally, like, the first Game Boy game had, like, Robot Masters from 1 and 2, 2 had 2 and 3, 3 had 3 and 4, and 4 obviously had 4 and 5. You'd think that, oh, well, 5 is gonna have 5 and 6, right? It actually doesn't. But I'll, I'll get into that later when we get into the game, obviously. I think that will be the next Mega Man installment I do. I don't know if I'm going to do it, like, this year, though. It'll probably be, like, one of the first things I do next year. Just so I can complete that mini-series and then I can finally get around to Mega Man 11. Sorry again for postponing that for so long. It's just... I don't know. There's just something about Mega Man 11 that I'm just not quite ready to dive into, but... When I have all the Game Boy games done, I'll probably get that incentive to finally jump into it. So I'll get to it, guys. I'll get to it. Just bear with me. And then after that, I can move on to the X-Series, which uh, I have actually been playing a couple more games of. And, um, like, I obviously played through Mega Man X a few years ago and really enjoyed it. I actually recently played through Mega Man X4 and really thought it was a great game, too, and... It makes me want to check out 2 and 3, so... I can at least get that series started. But I don't know how far I'll dive into the X series, because I know that... The games get very questionable later on, like... 6 onward, so... We'll have to see. We'll have to see. But I think that's actually it. You don't really get a formal credits, it looks like. So... Yeah. I think with that, I'll go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. It was a nice short playthrough. Pretty much what I expected. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be ready to take on the next uh, weekday project just yet. I'm actually... The reason why I picked this game to do... 
was there's actually something I'm waiting on in regards to something for my next project. So um, that's why I haven't started that yet. It's going to be one of the big games I wanted to cover this year. But uh, again, I'm waiting for one thing before I get started on that. So um, it may be that project. I don't know if it's going to be ready quite yet, but uh, it'll either be that or I might have to do another mini project or something, which doesn't bother me. Just, again, be prepared for one or the other. But yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed it and... Uh, I'll see you guys next time in the Mega Man series and, of course, for any of my other projects. It's been Slim Kirby. See you guys later. Later, folks.